onto the field. A lot of rain here yesterday, light showers today, but the field, of course, AstroTurf, it's in excellent shape. The Hawkeyes coming off that 53-10 win at Kinnick Stadium over Hawaii. The Cyclones recorded their 72nd season opening victory with a 42-13 win over Eastern Illinois last week. It will be the Hawkeyes to kick off. Jeff Skillett will put it in play, number 11. Back to receive. Lester Ridley and Lamont Hill, 23 and 9. And here we go. That is Lester Ridley at the 10. Breaking through at the 15, the 20. Ridley Pedersen. And there's the defense for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Wise is a fine, fine man in that secondary. First down from the 22. A little delay and banging up the middle. Second down and six. And the handoff going to Patterson. On third down and seven. The pass too high. It was intended for Lamont. The kick is away. Almost blocked. Fair catch called for. Antula takes Rodgers. Leads Hayden Fry's Hawkeyes out. Hughes is split to the near side. First play, they give it to the second man through. And that's Mike Saunders. Blast. Here's the offense. Hughes, a very talented receiver. Up front, they have a good veteran line on defense. Dubrava, Radigan, Dunleavy, Fulton, Block, Milner, Grubb, Bugs, Rayberg, Nitsche, and Walker. First down on that first play as Saunders rambled up the middle. Coming in motion, Hughes, the pitch back, and back to the quarterback, the flea flicker downfield, Hughes. Touchdown! Mark DeBrava beaten on the play. The flea flicker. As the ball went back to Rodgers, who threw to Hughes for the score. What we're trying to do, the Hawkeyes are getting done here, is a little flea flicker, as Jay said. It's the handoff to the running back, back to the quarterback, which holds the defense in position and gives Rodgers a great throw downfield and a superb catch. Superb catch. Hughes out of Newark, New Jersey. Great athlete. Skillet with the extra point. And the strike. Hughes, Brandon Hughes, 81, comes to the near side. And they put Ben Harvey, Ben Harvey in the slot, number 80. And that's Schulte, the tight end, who went in motion to the right side in the slot. Now Hill goes to the far side. Lots of motion and formation here. Trouble for Peterson on the run. Peterson, first down. Good job. He's set in the slot to the right side. First and 10. The ball at the 36-yard line. That's Lamont Hill. Hill gets outside for a couple. Penalty marker down it. Richard Honig and James Lepatina. The rest of the lead, 7-0. First down and 30. Peterson has to second down and 26. Peterson running out of there. And Peterson wrapped up. By guys are putting it to him. Patterson goes out. Hughes comes back in. Third down and 23. Look out. And the Hawkeyes say they've got it. Trouble on the snap for Peterson. We'll wait till they unpile, but it appears that Iowa has come up with a football. It was Teddy Joe Fraley, number 49. Right there, you see the center just didn't get the ball up or the quarterback is pulling out. But either way, good fortune for the Iowa Hawkeyes. 
careful they don't get blown out early here. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. Play action. Here comes Rodgers, throwing and incomplete at the one-yard line. Wide to the right is Antula, 81. Hughes to the near side. In motion, that's Montgomery, and the handoff to Sanders. And he takes it inside that becomes in number 82. It was his catch that put Iowa up 27-0 against Hawaii last week. Montgomery goes in motion. And it's Saunders, and he has Hawks lead it, 7-0. And Tula back in for Falloon. And look out. What a play by Matt Grubb. Carter against Hawaii. He has made eight straight field goals. This a 41-yarder. Skillet's kick out of Hartley's hold is good. And that's nine in a row. And the Hawkeyes out of the end zone on the Iowa State sideline. Rod Bodhold. Rod? That's exactly right, Keith. Hughes goes wide to the far side. Peterson giving to the second man through. Breaks out of there. That's Sherman Williams. Williams, number nine. The ball right at the 35-yard line. And the give to Patterson. Patterson. <laughs> yes, we will. Wait and see. And the give goes to Hill. Hill doesn't get much. Patterson and Hill with Peterson. Third down, four. Look out. Get that ball. It's going to belong to the Hawkeyes. Here. Matt Rogers at the controls. The handoff going to Montgomery. Montgomery. Danon Hughes. Balloon set to the left side. And coming back with the counter, Saunders. Saunders knocked out of bounds at the two-yard line. Cross, the other tight end, 87, is in there. The handoff going to Kuyava. Touchdown. Paul Kuyava, the junior from Cudahy, Wisconsin, takes it in. And the Hawkeyes are rolling. Eight and a half minutes already for the Cyclones. Skillet kicks the extra point. It is rolling over the Cyclones early. And looked extremely sharp here. The kickoff at the five-yard line taken by Lester Ridley. Ridley at the 20, the 25, the 30. Still going at the 35. Ridley out to the 37-yard line. Position for the Cyclones. Spencer to the far side. Hughes to the near side. The give goes to Patterson. 14th in the nation is take advantage of those breaks, and they've done it. Second down and eight. That's Patterson going in motion. Chris Peterson. Lots of time. And again, he can't find anybody. Now he unloads. Under throws. It's intercepted by Eddie Polly, number 20. Terry Hendrickson. Personal foul, defense, first down. Over the 50-yard line, and so they have to try to take advantage of an Iowa mistake now. Spencer is wide to the right. They put a man in the slot. That's Hughes. First and 10 at the 46. Peterson on the run. Throws, and it's complete here to the near sideline. That's Chris. Spencer and Hughes are the wide receivers on first and 10. The handoff going to Hill. Hill to the 31-yard line. The big advantage on the scoreboard, but the Cyclones try to do something about that. Peterson straight back this time, swings it out to Patterson. Patterson fighting for yardage, out of bounds at the 3 in Ames over the years in this rivalry. This afternoon, the 39th meeting. Handoff going to Hill. And Hill moves across courses, fourth down and six. Well, let's see what they can do here. Look out. Long count. They can go to a long count and hope to draw the deep average against Eastern Illinois. 
He's punting against the wind. Sets it high. Fair catch call for. It's going to be down at the five-yard line. Hughes comes to the near sideline. Matt Rogers quarterbacking the Hawkeyes of Hayden Fry. And a give to the second man through. And nothing doing for Mike Saunders. Saunders may have to play first quarter. If you're just joining us, it's been all Iowa. They lead it 17 to nothing. And again, nothing doing up the middle. That's right. <laughs> Jim Hyzak, the junior from Nashua, New Hampshire. Punting it out of there. Here is DeBrava. DeBrava with a nice return near the 30. Lecturing one of his youngsters. Cliff King, 43, made the tackle on DeBrava. Cyclones put it in play at the 36-yard line. In motion, Lamont Hill. They're spread out all over the field for Chris Peterson. Throws over the middle. And the catch is made. Hughes comes to the right side. Second down and three. Banging up the middle is Patterson. And Patterson looks like he's got the first. 17-0 Hawkeyes, but the Cyclones are threatening. And Peterson trying to hit. I was taking advantage of those turnovers. On second down and 10, Peterson options, holds on, gets a couple. The second option or the third, somewhere there, there's got to be hopefully an opening. Third down and eight. Wide to the right goes Hill. Peterson right back over the middle. It's complete to Harvey. Harvey comes up short of the first down. It puts the first board, first score on the board for Iowa State. It's 17 to three, Iowa. Big kick there for the young freshman. Interesting uh, aspect of Iowa State. They have the sword. You die by the sword. He didn't want to be in this situation. Montgomery and Saunders in the backfield. And that's Montgomery. Lou Montgomery's at Notre Dame. They're missing Shane Dunleavy, a broken hand in the Eastern Illinois game. That hurts the Cyclones on defense. Second down and eight. Rodgers over the middle. Alan Cross, the tight end, made the catch. To its feet to urge on the defense. They're trying to make their first third down conversion here, and they do, carrying the football. Hey, don't sell the Hawkeyes short. They've got a great one also. Montgomery 34 and Lampkin 33 now in the backfield. Rodgers may be audibleizing here as he puts them in the eye. On first and 10, play action. The throw to the far line, sideline, all wide open. Allen Cross, the tight end. First and 10. At the 47-yard line, Lampkin carrying. Lampkin, 11 carrying them. Our crew here this afternoon, Keith Murphy, Arlen Sianowski, Rod Bodhold, and John Campbell. This is Jay Randolph with you, and on the run, Rogers. Rogers brought down here passing at Iowa. They are one out of four on third down conversions. He may have audibled here, third and seven at the 44. Rogers straight back all kinds of time over the middle. Dropped. Dropped by Danon Hughes. Jim Hyzak to do the putting. Two punts, 38 yards last week against the win. Look at this floater. It hits at the 18. Cyclone bounce. Oh, big bounce all the way up to the 35. 30 Iowa second down coming up as they ran a play just a moment ago that we'll show you they try to pass downfield and the Cyclone folks wanted a call right here an interception Gary Clark number 19 picks it off there's a penalty marker down backfield back downfield the tight end Warmack was the intended receiver the pass way overthrown by Peterson and the indication is that the penalty will go against the Cyclones. It'll be refused, so we've got a turnover. Show you a replay of this interception. Just before this, they tried a long pass downfield, Arlen. He simply drops back, and here's the problem. He overthrows. You know, Jay, he hasn't had much chance. Rogers on a little delay. This is Lampkin. Lampkin gets to midfield just 
Dean and Filoon set to the far sideline. And the counter back the other way, spinning out of there comes Lampkin. He's got a remaining in the first half. They lead at 17 to 3. The little delay goes to Montgomery. And Lou gets to the 32. Touchdown game against Hawaii. Second down and two. Pitch back coming. This is Lampkin. And a fine play. Third down and three. Hughes going in motion. And the handoff to Lampkin. Lampkin's got the Dean. And Falloon are set out to the left side. On first and ten. Matt Rogers. Little delay. Goes to Montgomery. Montgomery wrapped up. Got about a yard. And Harold Jasper, 83, the freshman from Bellport, New York, is set way wide to the right. And again, it is Lampkin. Lampkin knocked out of bounds. First and nine. Ball just inside the 10-yard line. Dean goes in motion, 86, and back they come again to Lampkin. They are really feet. Second down, goal to go at the seven-yard line. Hawks leading 17 to three, trying to get more. A little delay, and with the football, Montgomery. Montgomery down in. Look at it. It was a battle being won at the moment by the Hawks. They have rolled here in the first half. In motion, Dayton Hughes. Play action. Lots of time. The throw. And penalty marker at the five yards. Defensive pass interference. Def first down. Penalty gives them second down from the four. And that time, Lampkin, yard line. Rodgers was able to hold up. Third down. Goal to go. Balloon set way to the left side. The pass into the end zone. He was out of the end zone. Hughes. He has one field goal already. This is up and it is good. We got a 23 or back. And they took the penalty on the kick against the wind. It's still a very short kick. Hill. Hill trying to break out of there, and he is going to be brought down around the third one interception. It was overruled by a penalty, so that was wiped out. That's Patterson coming in motion. Peterson, a lot of time. Peterson on the run. Out of bounds. Got the... I think we were incorrect on that graphic. That interception was not wiped out. He has thrown one interception. Lamont Hill, number nine, battling upfield to the 32. The get goes to Spencer goes wide to the right. Hughes is in the slot right. Hill comes in motion to the near sideline. Peterson on the run. Peterson sliding for the first step. Cyclones have one timeout remaining. Peterson throwing down the side. He had a match. Half second down and ten. Chris Peterson changing the play at the line of scrimmage, running the option, nothing doing. Peterson stuffing it back. Patterson split to the left side. So's 89. Spencer. Spencer with a fine catch. We have 103 remaining. Peterson. Oh, he tried to get outside. Caught in the backfield. Clock running. Peterson running. He throws. It's complete. On the run. 81. Brandon Hughes. Penalty marker down. Was he over the line of scrimmage? That's what they say. For the Cyclones. Peterson steps up. Has time, running out of there, gets to the 38-yard line. Coming up for the left footer, 
He's got it on the way. It's not going to get there. Wide to the right. The Hawkeyes lead it 20 to 3. Oh, Hayden Fry. Men coming from the far side as the kick comes. And it will be taken by Hughes at the 8. At the 20. Outside at the 25. To the 30. To the 32-yard line. Hughes is 3. Montgomery. The split end is 82. Balloon. And the handoff going to Saunders. Saunders getting a yard or two. Replacing Montgomery. So it's Kuyaba and Saunders in the backfield. Second down and nine. In motion, Danon Hughes. And out of the eye, Saunders. Nothing doing it in their territory. And I mentioned again, they're missing Doug Levy, Allen, and Jordan. Rogers throwing, and it is incomplete. So it is three and an 86. Back to receive the punt. This punt will come from... Leonard Holmes, 22, a freshman from Detroit, is in the backfield. Leonard Holmes. Hand off to Holmes. Holmes over the 40. Second down and six. Chris Peterson to Patterson. And uh, we, we had to actually go and change shoes on the sidelines because of the water. It can get real slick. Third down and four. Peterson rolling out. Gets outside, but can't get the first down. Peterson is downfield to receive the punt. So neither club can get anything going in their first offensive chances in the third period. A booming punt taken at the 15-yard line. The Hawkeyes put it in play, first and 10 from the 15-yard line. That is Saunders. Saunders breaking and spinning out. And he gets a, a line of thunderstorms are headed this way, and it's getting very dark off to the north end of the field. Here comes Saunders. Saunders to the 30, 45 yards. They seem to feature these fellows in shifts. In, you know, we saw Lampkin in a very fine segment in that first half, and now it seems to be Saunders. Saunders again. Didn't find a hole that time. Big to 20 to 3. 9 15 remaining third quarter. Saunders. Saunders spins out, gets the first down. He's brought is the way Lou Montgomery, number 34, came up and made the block on that last play. And he's got to be pleased the way his club's handling the running of the clock here as they move the ball along the ground. Saunders over the 45 20. And they're ranked 14 right now. Second down and 10. A lot of time for Rodgers. Unloads to the far sideline. And Montgomery. They obviously can't score. Out of the eye. Saunders again. Breaks away. This is what Saunders. First and 10 at the 33. Hughes goes in motion. Play action. Rogers throwing long downfield. Almost intercepted. They picked it off. Second and ten. The delay. This time it's Montgomery. Montgomery time rolling off the clock here in Ames. Rogers straight back. In punt formation, Fisher with a little kick against the wind doesn't go very far. It'll be out of bounds at about the 13-yard line. Defensive back number five in there. The pitch to Hill. Hill gets a yard. At they traded field goals in the second period. Nothing shaking for either side here in the third. Peterson in trouble. Gets away. Throws and flags. Things are a real concern field to them. Decline. 
Cyclones in trouble. Peterson. Oh, they were coming. They were swarming, and they got to him. Their own end zone. John Schnoor putting from his end zone. Low pass from center. It's up. Safety. Two points. Pack them on. You could see that coming, too, Arlen. It was the outside backers. John Derby, 31. Teddy Joe Faley, 49. Now, I'll tell you something, Jay. Last year, Iowa blocked a punt against them, and they did it again. One of the problems that Iowa State has in this punting formation is it's really a shotgun formation, a passing formation, where they bring the punter in. So that's part of the problem that they have. The Hawk game. And the punt coming up. Downfield. Jasper. Jasper coming back with it. Jasper over the 45 to the 47-yard line and a huge pile up there. Rogers hands it over to Montgomery. Montgomery fights into Cyclone Terbas. Had a whale of a game this afternoon as I watched it from high above this stadium. Little counter to Montgomery. Nothing shaking for him as he's hit for a loss of about a third down and seven. Ball just over the 50. See if Rogers puts it up here. He's going to. And going to be intercepted. Coming back with it. Andrew Buck. Another bad throw. Intended for Dana with the interception, the junior from Carson, California. You're on ground level with the player. Rogers looking downfield and just throws badly. Neither quarterback are having what you would consider. I want to check on Saunders. We saw him limping along the sideline and we'll check in with John Campbell when we have an opportunity. Incomplete pass as Peterson was at three yard line. Banging up the middle is Lamont Hill. Peterson and the Cyclones facing third and six. Pass is complete. And then it was dropped. Jasper is deep. Schnorr's kick is a boomer. Let it go. And look out. Down at the three-yard three -yard line. That's Mike Saunders carrying it to the four. Minute to play in the third quarter. Saunders again. Nothing. No gain on the play. The tight end position. Saunders and Kuyaba in the backfield. They give to Saunders. though as we go to the fourth quarter fisher with the punt mcmillian downfield at midfield at the 45 the 40 steps through spins out goes to the 34 yard line nice return spencer goes to the far side slip peterson a little swing out the hill hill breaks away Hill gets the ball to the 25-yard line to fall again. Second down and two. Peterson, down he goes. Number 94. Peterson on the run. Down to the 20-yard line. Slide from the southeast. Just a Larry light rain falling now. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. Ben Harvey, number 80 in the game, is a wide receiver. Give it to Hill. No. No gain. They're only sore. A field goal from Ty Stewart. Patterson goes to the far sideline. The throw incomplete. Penalty marker and interference call. Holding, defense, second down. All right. First down. And 
the handoff to Patterson. Patterson to the eight yard line. Seven for a first down, nine for a touchdown. The pitch back coming to Hill. Hill cuts it in. Not much there for him. Or the, they put Hughes in the slot over there. The tight end comes around to the right side. Peterson looking, throwing, touchdown! The catch of beauty by Chris Spencer, the junior from Omaha. He cut in front of Scott Blake, number six. And the first touchdown of the game, here it is for the Cyclones. Jay, this is probably the best play that the Iowa State has had all day, and what a perfect time for them to have it come. His, the, the man's wide open, cutting across the end zone. Pass protection was outstanding that time. That's what made Pedersen have the time or the ability to get the touchdown. And Try for the extra point. Ty Stewart. Out of the hole of John Schnoor. And it is up and back right after these messages. More than two quarters, but they're probably not going to let Iowa State uh, get rid of that first quarter. So it's Iowa 22, Iowa State 10, but the Cyclones... Off. A short kick against this win. Fair catch called for and taken in by Alan Cross. Rodgers going long, has Hughes. Hughes can't make the catch. All on first down there, the surprise factor. Now, Lampkin, 33, and Montgomery, the two big backs in there, 34 and 33. Montgomery. Montgomery. Back. Matt Rogers throwing wide open. Whitaker, the tight end. Up the middle, Montgomery. Penalty marker goes down. The ball pops out. Cyclones say they turns his mic on. Defense repeats the down. Holding. Now. Accepted to 10. Rogers throws, penalty marker down. Whitaker again. Downfield. He is in for the score, but they may bring it back. But we've seen Whitaker wide open on both sides of the field here in the last minute. What they're doing, Jay, and we may get to see it in replay here, I don't know. Um, they're in. Aiden Fry out on the field. Oh. Touchdown, Iowa. Holding against Iowa State. Okay, we'll look at it in replay here. You'll see they're sending the, the uh, man across underneath the zone. He's wide open because the zone coverage has fallen back to the end zone, and now it's just a matter of Whitaker getting in the end zone. Good block there, and he hurdles into the end zone. Great effort, great play by the Hawkeyes. I think we've got a replay that shows the hold against Matt Nitsche. We'll show it to you if we can after this try for the extra point. Jeff Skillet puts it up. The rains roll down. We'll be back. It's headed our way, and it has arrived, and it's sent a lot of Iowa and Iowa State fans headed for coverage. You folks hopefully are high and dry at home. 29-10, the Hawkeyes. I just sit up there. I was going to have to throw the ball, guys. All right, Rod, hold on to that umbrella. <laughs> wow, look at that. Hill got the football. Clones get together. 
Ella Rain is let up. Peterson on the run. Out of bounds. He is big. But these big linemen are very athletic for the Cyclones. Third and 11. Peterson on the quarter. The Hawkeyes should have very fine field position once again. He's just going to let it hit. Yeah. That wind is very, very tough to punt against. He's got Kuyaba and Lampkin in there with Matt Rogers. Lampkin, the ball carrier. That's Lampkin. Point. Second and seven, 32-yard line. Kuyaba. Kuyaba cracks to the 25-yard line, about a yard and a half short today. And again, he said, it's not a rivalry until we win. Well, in his mind, it won't be a rivalry until crew. Offside indicated again. The Hawkeyes have scored in both their games this season on block punts. And... Uh, you know, Coach Walden told us he didn't want to lose. <laughs> Second and seven at the 19. Lampkin wrapped up. Curious position. Yeah, Iowa State gave up the ball a couple of times, gave the Hawkeyes great field position. Kuyaba. Kuyaba down to the 14-yard line. Three and a half minutes to play. Rogers on the opposite. And Rogers holding on. Yet to measure. It is a first down. Ball at the levels of Pennsylvania this year. Lampkin, the ball Lampkin up the middle. Down. Goal to go at the two. Kuyaba, penalty marker down. Offense, repeat the down. Kuyaba to the 10 yard line. Got and a half to play. Hawks leading 29 to 10. Boy, he wouldn't quit here. And I'm going to Lampkin. And batted away. Dan Watkins, number 41, making the play. Here it is. This is a great play, first of all, by the Hawkeyes. Nobody knows where the ball is. Look at that fake. He jumps even to disguise it. Now he's headed for the end zone. Naked, he's going to throw, and what a play. I thought Kuyaba had the ball. He did. Hey, I guarantee yeah. he fooled me as the fellow from Irwindale. Here's Patterson carrying the football out to the three-yard line. Ball game, I think, will stand both these clubs in, in good stead. Uh, it would appear that... The Hawkeyes have a bit of a breather next week and then face Michigan. This is Patterson. Patterson fumbled at the 22, but the come down to 10 seconds. And Keith, uh, great having you here this afternoon to handle our host chores. Thank you, As Jack. Peterson carries the ball up to the 30-yard line, and that is it. Here at Cyclone Stadium, Jack Tricefield, the Iowa Hawkeyes have won their ninth consecutive game over the Cyclones. The final, Iowa 29, Iowa State 10. We'll be back to wrap it up in just a few moments.